My name is Matthew Olson. I live in Idaho Falls, Idaho. I am studying business marketing at Utah State University. And I have been Christian my whole life. I've been working out ever since I was in middle school. When I first got there, I was only benching like 10 pounds. I was only 100 pounds in middle school. And right now I am 180 pounds. And I have no idea how much body fat percent I have. I couldn't really tell you. I work out more than just to look good or more to get big. I work out because it's done a lot for my mental health. It's made me who I am today. And I do it because it's what make it it's my passion. It's what makes me happy. I weight lifted a lot in high school. I did it for sports like football and lacrosse. Um and I gained around 50 pounds from my junior year to senior year of football. That required a lot of eating. So I ate eight eggs every single morning. Every day at school, I would crack open a jar of peanut butter and I'd start eating it during class. Or I'd bring tuna fish and just start eating it. And it was kind of whack, but you know. Another crazy thing I've done is I went on a three day fast one time with no food and all I did was drink water and that taught me a lot of discipline I honestly will make a video of that soon I don't recommend you try it unless you have done enough research on it for most of my life I grew up in the gospel I went to church I had good parents and I've been able to keep the commandments most of the commandments but for the most part I was afraid I was always afraid to talk about God in school and with friends and even family. It was a hard subject to talk about because I knew the kind of reaction that I would get from some of those people. I didn't take the gospel seriously until I was 18 years old while I was preparing to serve a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And that's when I started to read the scriptures, the Bible, along with the Book of Mormon. That's when I start to pray. That's when I start to talk to my friends about what I believed in. And then I served in Botswana, Namibia mission. So if any of you guys don't know where that's at, it's in South Africa. And that was quite the experience. I'll, you will hear a lot about that in the future. To cut things short for now, um, I came back early from my mission because of COVID. So I still had six months left and I came back early and that took kind of a devastating toll on me mentally and in every aspect it was hard for me to leave the people of Africa and I felt like I had a lot more energy left in me to share the gospel. So most of my life I've liked to make videos that's something that most people know that you know I've been into. And it wasn't until probably a few years ago that I started getting big into weightlifting and it became a passion real quick. The reason why I love to weightlift is because it's a challenge. You're constantly working on yourself and getting stronger and you can see progress. That's an amazing part of it is looking in the mirror and seeing something improve. And that's what drove me to weightlifting. And of course, I love the gospel. And so, TikTok was something that brought all those three things together. The gospel, weightlifting, and my love for making videos. And that is what I'm planning on doing. You know, I'm, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. I might have a career. might have a whole family. And that won't stop me from sharing what I believe in. Because now, more than ever, the world needs to hear the truth of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ. The greatest work that's going on in the earth right now is called the Gathering of Israel. And it's, it's a latter-day prophecy that everyone from around the world will come together into one fold of Jesus Christ. That is something that I am seeing currently as I've been working on social media. Are people from all walks of life, every different countries, backgrounds that can come together 
and unify it through Christ. And that has been an amazing thing to be a part of. One thing I've realized since I've done this is that there are a lot of good people out there. A lot. A lot of them are hiding from the world because we're taught to be in the world, not of the world. But I can promise all of you guys out there that feel alone, feel like there's no one out there, that I can promise you that there is. And God will lead you to those people um, so they can strengthen you and help you become better. In the future, you can expect me to um, continue doing what I'm doing. And, you know, it's not going to be easy, an easy road for me. I understand that. There are going to be times where I feel like quitting. And I might take a break every now and then because we can't run faster than we have strength. But you can expect me to continue to be bold in what I believe in, regardless of what people think. You can expect trying to bring more and more people together and unite in Christ. Another thing you can expect is I want to help people stay positive and happy. And weightlifting is a big part of my life that has brought that. And so I want to bring that to other people's lives and see them grow and be happy. So even if you don't believe my, my values as a Christian or as a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, at least you can you know, work out and we can come together on that level. But in the end, I just want to be able to leave an imprint in this world that we live in. I want to be able to make a difference with the short time that I have because we only have a hundred years on this earth, roughly. We never know when our time is and everything we do on earth literally determines where we end up in eternity. So I'm going to give it all I have while I'm here. And one thing I want you guys to all know is that your purpose in life your, your whole purpose and existence of being here is to develop a relationship with your Heavenly Father and prepare to meet Him one day. I know that life isn't easy. Sometimes you might ask yourself, why are these things happening to me? Why would God do this to me? But I want you to know that everything that you go through happens for a reason. It builds you up. It makes you stronger. It's just like the gym. If it was easy, you wouldn't see any progress, right? And it's the same thing with our life. That's why we experience hard things. I want to leave my testimony with you that this is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and that the Lord is coming soon. And it's our job as children of God as members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to prepare the world for the second coming. And one thing I say, I want to leave with you, is we live in a day where we can't sit on the fence anymore. We really can't. We can't rely on our parents' testimony. We can't be relaxed with our testimony. We live in a day where you're either with God or you're not. And I encourage you to make a commitment right now after, this, after you see this video. If you are willing to turn to Christ, do everything you can to spread love in a world that's full of darkness, confusion, fear. That's what I leave with you and I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.